I'm from this. Dirt, 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 I'm all about that. Dirt, 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 I'm throwing. Dirt, 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 I miss that. Dirt, 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 gotta get back to I'm it. a dirt trackaholic, call it what you call it. Saturday night, I am so Kenny Wallace on that. Dirt, 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 dirt. dirt. Hey everyone, welcome back to Rattliff Racing. This is Claude Rattliff. Today, uh, old, car going, old girl going to get skinny. We're going to put her on a diet. We're going to take the trunk off of her um, and cut out some weight in the, in the back. My buddy Brandon Collins told me uh, to do this to lose some weight. He said he lost about 100 pounds. So we're going to put the old girl on a diet. Uh, cause as you see, my car is not the fastest thing out there, nowhere near it. So the less weight I can lose, the faster I can go. But uh, Tracy, I already started taking the trunk off of it. Uh, he took all the rivets and stuff out of it. You go ahead and pull it up there, bro. But our goal today, ow, metal hurts. End, baby. Yes, our goal today is to cut all this right here out around the bar and put a piece of sheet metal in there. And then up on the towers, we're going to probably cut all this right here out. Don't know yet. I'm still thinking about it. I do know I'm going to cut all this right here out around the back of the quarter panel. That way it's easier to beat sheet metal out. Same thing on that side. So, got a pretty good uh, schedule ahead of us. So, stay with us. The safety button works, and then again, I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> We'll get there eventually. Eventually we will get there. So I come uh SpongeBob the you know the cartoon <laughs> three years later. <laughs> <laughs> So we can have something to sheet, put sheet metal over. Yeah. So now this is gonna be fun because I ain't the other way. I'm uh far in my way. My driver, he wants to do some cutting. It looked like he like was having fun. I was having fun, so we're gonna get him in there. He's gonna do some cutting now. Yep. It's all yours, brother. Look, I got a long thing here. So I don't get cut. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. We're going to use the saws on now. Tracy found him a new seat, y'all. What do you think? All right, so we got that out. 
And Brandon's right. That's about 35 pound right there. So 35 pound we just took off the car. I'm estimating. And now we're getting ready to do some cutting around the quarter panels. And right around the tower. So stay with us. And we should just leave this in here to keep mud from getting up in there. Plus it shocked tire too. Yeah. All right, so this is why I have help. Uh, Tracy just told me that I can't cut that side. I wasn't thinking um, because it's got the gas filler on it and it's got all the gas lines and uh, filler neck and everything ran into it back here. So uh, we'll give you a shot of it. Turn that light on there for me, Tracy. This, well, you can see it, and it's blocked in. But yeah, right there, that's where the filler neck and everything is at. So, well, uh, I guess we're going to be done shedding some weight. And I don't think I think of anything else to cut, but I think that's pretty much going to be it. We might have took about 40 pounds off of it. Now we're going to cut some sheet metal and put in there to cover up a big hole up. All right, we're going to start a... Uh, Cutting some sheet metal. By the way, uh, Tracy picked the music for tonight. He got some, uh, what was it, classic rock and roll? Yeah, Apple Radio. Apple Radio, he says. When you backwoods like we are, you don't believe in a level. We use a ramp for the trailer. Works just as well. Hey y'all, that's his first time ever using those uh, scissors. Done a good job, didn't he? Done a better job than I do, because it don't matter to me. It's a race car, but he's a perfectionist, so. Not perfect by any means. Hey, you better than what I can do. Yeah. <laughs> uh, damn near perfect. Uh, I'm about to beat this right here down around this bar. I can put a bend in it and put some rivets in it. Show um, me what looks like underneath it, Tracy. Right. We're gonna okay. we're gonna start. Uh, I guess you could say shaping it. Good. All right. Now we're gonna start drilling and uh, put some rivets in it. So there's the finished product. Got it all pop riveted in there. And as you can see up underneath it. It's good and sealed, both sides. And back. Now we're getting ready to put the trunk on it. My battery's dying on my phone, so I apologize. So you might get bits and pieces of us putting the trunk on, but Tracy's putting it on now. All we gotta do is just put some pop rivets in it. Yeah, so. I ain't gotta drill anything out, just put pop rivets in it and they'll be done. But uh, 
I'm gonna continue this video. Uh, I got an inline fuel pump order for this, so whenever it comes in, it's supposed to be in Friday. Um, I'm going to uh, start recording us putting the fuel pump and everything in. So until then, we'll see you Friday. Welcome back to night two of working on the race cars. Uh, right now we're looking at Tracy's car. He's definitely going to need some uh, front axles. Uh, hang on a minute and I'll show y'all. Yeah, so uh, he's got a little bit too much play in it. Um, by the way, uh, yeah, I did. I got my hair cut. Haley over there, Mooresville, um, at Great Clips, um, Byers Creek Crossing. If y'all want to go get a nice haircut, I think she's done a good job on my hair. But anyways, uh, we may be going after another car tomorrow. So, uh, Tracy might be running my car tomorrow, and I'll be running the new car. But, or, I mean Saturday. I might be running my car Saturday, and I'll be running the new car. You that excited for the race, huh? Yeah, I'm excited. I uh, heard this car's got a little bit more power than what mine's got, and should be a good top five car to have fun with. Get, you, get some good uh, in-car footage and everything, so. But... We're going to be off uh, the 29th, so we're going to get Tracy's car going by the 29th, put the uh, axles and everything in the front of it, so. But, next thing on the list is um, basically going after that car tomorrow, and I'm going to be painting it and put my numbers and stuff on it, so. We'll see y'all then. And, uh, hey Jeff, uh, Aslan. Tracy's got something he wants to say to you. It's a shout out. I changed to a hat. <laughs> <laughs> Only reason I even wear a hat or a bargain or anything like that is just to hold all this hair out of my face while I'm working on stuff. But got a hat now. There you go, buddy. Um, yeah, my my daughter likes his long hair, so he won't get it cut. But uh, we'll see y'all uh, next time. Hey, welcome back to day three of working on the race cars. Today we're going to put the axle, uh, passenger side axle in Tracy's car. Wanna, just got back, been uh, riding all over heck looking for uh, uh, sockets. Nobody had the right size axle socket, so we're going to get started. Taking the shock mounts off so I can move this finger. There she is. That was supposed to be in there. Mm-hmm. And he's coming apart. Oh 
Hey, well, there's half of it. race car. All right, so we had to bring in reinforcements. I ain't on your finger, Emma. No. Just keep some pressure on that, boy. All right, so we had complications last night, and Tracy uh, figured it out today. And he's pretty smart when he went and done it because uh, he took vice grips and put on it. Put, first put the old tie rod back, I mean the old axle back in. Then put vice grips on the inner tie rod, uh, the one in the transmission. Yeah, show this. Yeah, yeah here I'll show you. Yeah, let's go out here in the yard and I'll show them how I done it. Okay, so there's the inner. That's the one where I was what was in the transmission and this is what went to the tire you just put that back in there take your vice grips latch them down right there now look at that there right there is smart because I was watching last night and a guy actually took a slide hammer and used some cobalt vice grips and the slide hammer sl goes up inside the vice grips, and uh, he took and welded a piece onto the axle and put the vice grips over it, and then used a slide hammer, and it came off. I thought that was pretty cool. Well, Tracy said anything he can do, he, he can do better. So I come in here in two minutes, and Tracy's already got it out. Not only is he a driver, he's a mechanic. <laughs> All right, so we got the. Axle in on the other side. Uh, car's good to go. Now we're working on putting, uh, getting the thermostat out. Uh, we're going to get the thermostat, and hopefully that'll restrict the water so its temperature won't run hot. All right, so for those of y'all want to know what a gutted out thermostat looks like, there you go. I'm hoping that gives him enough restriction uh, for the water to cool the, the block off and you don't run heat or hot. Got everything done here on uh, Tracy's car. Got the axle in, uh, everything ready to go for tomorrow. Um, got the thermostat and everything in it. Uh, hopefully won't overheat, but we're going to call it a, a week, I guess you could say, and get this thing loaded up and uh, get everything ready for tomorrow, but I um, want to thank y'all for subscribing to my channel, continue to subscribe, get the name out there, Ratliff Racing, and hit uh, that like button, and leave me a comment, let me know what you wa where you're watching from. And go to uh, Terezian Racing. Check out my buddy Ryan Terezian over there in uh, California. Uh, he does, we do a lot of stuff like he does, let's put it that way. Uh, he's the one that got me on my channel. Uh, he's a really cool dude. But uh, yeah, hope you enjoy it. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow uh, at the racetrack.